A warm good morning to you all. My name is Hindle Hwedi, Managing Director of VIA Education, and I will be the moderator for today's session. Over the past few years, the UAE has made tremendous strides against the journey towards a clean energy future. Earlier this year, we marked a new historic milestone with the opening of the UAE's first waste energy plant. This plant was built through a partnership between BIA, the leading sustainability pioneer, and Mosdar, an international leader in clean energy. Today, I am here with Khalid Lhreimel, Vice Chairman and Group CEO of BIA, and Mohammed Jamil al ramahi CEO of Mosdar, to learn more about this plant that will transform the landscape of energy projects in the Middle East. Welcome, Mr. Khalid. Welcome, Mr. Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you. I am sure you must be very proud of this incredible achievement. It's also a positive step towards achieving the UAE's ambitious Net Zero by 2050 initiative. As you are aware, the UAE Net Zero by 2050 strategic initiative is a national drive to achieve Net Zero emissions by 2050, making the Emirates the first Middle East and North Africa nation to do so. Mr. Mohammed, what importance do clean energy projects hold for the UAE to achieve these goals? Do you foresee waste energy plants playing more of a role in the future energy conversation? Thank you, Hand. Um, and thanks for BIA uh, for inviting us to this extraordinary facility mm -hmm. that represents you know, the vision of our leadership and the vision of our country, the United Arab Emirates. And in fact, it actually uh, it uh, shows case our commitment to sustainability, our commitment to a net zero. Mm -hmm. um, so our country was the first to announce uh, a net zero uh, target. Uh, the UAE was the first to sign uh, on the Paris Agreement mm -hmm. from our region. Uh, our country was the first to announce a renewable energy target uh, back in 2006. Mm -hmm. Uh, when Masdar was established. Um, and from there, our journey started in the deployment of clean, renewable energy resources, which obviously and ultimately will uh, contribute to our net zero target mm -hmm. in 2050. Uh, we started our journey with a small project, mm -hmm. a 10 megawatt in Masdar city. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now, as a, as a company here in the United Arab Emirates, we are uh, currently constructing the largest solar farm in the world, mm. two gigawatt, yeah. uh, that we are hoping to commission next year. But I think, you know, without partnerships that share the same values, that share the same vision, uh, champions mm. that are homegrown, in the United Arab Emirates, champions like BIA, that we are very proud to be a partner with, champions like Mazdar, uh, now a global leader in, in, in renewables. These champions that our leadership has created over the past decades here in the United Arab Emirates will definitely contribute to a successful uh, uh, achievement of our net zero target but also will help contribute to the success of these targets globally. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the waste to energy plant here in Sharjah that we have commissioned, like you have highlighted earlier, mm -hmm. is a showcase of how local champions, Bia and Mazdar, have come together hand in hand to build something unprecedented, to build something for future generation, to demonstrate to the world that we, as a nation, are united on climate challenges. And we just don't talk the talk, we walk the walk. And the waste to energy plant here in Sharjah is a great demonstration to our commitment, as a nation and as companies. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mohammed. Uh, Mr. Khalid, could you share a little more on this topic from your perspective? Thank you, Hind. Uh, first of all, I'm proud to be here with uh, Mr. Mohammed uh, Ramahi, um, our partners, Mustar, and uh, Emirates Waste to Energy uh, Company. We're very proud of this partnership. 
uh, both organizations, BIA and Mustar, share the same focus of sustainability. Uh, and together, you know, we share the same vision of the UAE for achieving net zero emissions. Uh, when you're looking at uh, for BIA, uh, we've been tackling the problem of waste for the last 15 years. And waste is also a contributor of emissions, not just uh, transport and fossil fuels. So definitely, the, uh, this partnership uh, are net uh, or are zero waste targets in the Emirate of Sharjah, also the targets of the UAE government of waste diversion. Uh, we're very proud that this year we inaugurated the first waste to energy plant in the region to help achieve the UAE's targets. Uh, both uh, leaders, uh, Mustar in renewable energy, regional and international leaders, BIA today a regional leader in waste management, we're very proud of this partnership uh, to achieve the UAE's uh, targets for net emissions. Thank you, Mr. Khalid. As pioneers in waste energy, I am sure your efforts will advance the achievements of the UAE's Net Zero by 2050 initiative. Speaking of which, waste energy plants are one of the best solutions for managing non-recyclable waste and enabling the circular economy. Mr. Khalid, what are some of the intrinsic factors and innovations in your inaugural waste energy project, which effectively aligns with zero waste and net zero emission strategies? For our uh, waste to energy project here in Sharjah, uh, first of all, you know, BS journey started 15 years ago to divert uh, all waste in Sharjah and achieve uh, our zero waste target. Until recently, we've achieved 76% diversion rate, which is considered the highest in the Middle East and only the waste that we are not able to recover mm -hmm. uh, and recycle, this is what will go to our waste to energy facility. Mm -hmm. this, faci this facility has a capacity of 300,000 tons annu annually, generating 30 megawatts of power, and uh, this has helped, helped us achieve our uh, zero waste targets. Okay, that's great. Uh, and I'm sure we can all agree that innovations at this plan demonstrate BIA and Mosdar's complementary strengths. As we all know, Bia and Mazdar launched the Sharjah Waste Energy Venture through a partnership. Mr. Mohammed, how important will partnerships and collaborations be in the ongoing energy transition process? And I think uh, partnership is not only essential, but also critical mm. uh, to have a successful journey towards a net zero objective. Uh, a journey toward decarbonization, uh, a journey to really tackle the challenges that we face as humanity mm. on this earth when it comes to climate challenges. And partnerships are driven by uh, different uh, forms and different structures. Mm. Partnerships with the government yeah. is very important. Partnership between organizations and corporates, mm -hmm. like the one you see here between BIA and Mazdar. Um, and partnership with the community. All of these partnerships will contribute to a successful journey. Mm -hmm. And this journey for us, and I speak on behalf of Mazdar, has not been easy. You know, and it will continue to be challenging. And the journey for the community is not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. You know, shifting behavior, shifting mindsets. And that's why partnership is key. Because partnership, it means that you both understand each other. You both have signed off on something. It's a commitment, it's a pledge, it's an agreement. Okay, so, so partnership is key. And we, as Mazdar, we are extremely proud to be a partner with BIA. You know, BIA has a lot of similarities, like I've highlighted with Mazdar. Same values, some, same commitments. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think that's, that's very important for a successful partnership. And we see this project and Emirates to Waste to Energy Company uh, 
to grow. We see this partnership to become, uh, uh, to become much bigger, not only in our great nation here in the United Arab Emirates, but also in different countries, inshallah, in the, in the, in the future as mm -hmm. well. You're absolutely right. This partnership between BIA and Mosdar is a testament of the importance of these partnerships and also it shows the strides that we have made in addressing the issue of waste. In the UAE alone, residents produce close to 6.5 million tons of waste each year, one of the highest rates globally. BIA has helped combat this with its end-to-end -end integrated waste management ecosystem. Mr. Khalid, what more can be done to address the waste management challenge how will it impact the progress of waste energy plant? Uh, thank you, uh, Hind. Um, the problem of waste is a global problem. And here in the region, as you mentioned, you know, we have the highest generation per capita in the world here in the GCC and in the UAE. So this is an area that BIA has focused on in the last 15 years. Um, and in Sharjah, we have built our waste management complex, 10 different facilities that treat all types of waste where we have been able to achieve the 76% diversion rate and now with the waste to energy plant uh, towards zero waste. And of course there's a lot of challenges. One of them is uh, awareness, uh, so education, uh, and also a partnership with the government authorities and, uh, and others to achieve more awareness uh, across uh, the region to reduce the amount of waste generated uh, and if there is more diversion happening and more segregation happening at source, that would lead with, to better quality material and help us achieve better results. Uh, today, uh, BIA is not operating just in Sharjah. We're also operating across the UAE, also in Egypt, in Saudi, and they all face the same challenges. So we are looking at working closely in those markets to help them build the infrastructure to treat and handle the waste, but also awareness is very critical. It's truly inspiring to hear of the incredible work BIA has done in addressing the issue of waste and enabling a circular economy. It is said that creating a circular economy in key strategic industries could cut emissions by 3.7 billion tons by 2050, which is equivalent to eliminating emissions from all forms of transport. Mr. Mohammed, how can waste to energy solutions in the UAE contribute to the circular economy in the Middle East and beyond? So, I mean, you know, circular economy is, is, is critical to tackle the, the main objective, like we've, we've noted in the, in the start of this session, which is ultimately reaching uh, a net zero target, but also reducing the carbon emission that will ultimately impact our uh, climate uh, and the temperatures in the climate and the behavior of our environment. So circular economy is key, and obviously waste to energy is uh, an important technology, uh, along a long list of technologies uh, that is needed to, uh, to control this, to control emissions uh, and to achieve our objective. So while waste to energy is a niche uh, technology uh, that uh, manages the issues of landfills uh, and reducing CO2, we need much more. And I think what BIA is doing and what Mazda <coughs> is doing on all uh, aspects uh, of sustainability of the circular economy is important. One example is could be carbon capture as well, uh, technologies that Mazda have played an important role here in our nation building the first carbon capture facility alongside another important partner like ADNOC, uh, renewable energy obviously, uh, working with BIA on some renewable energy projects here in Sharjah, uh, developing renewable energy uh, across the United Arab Emirates and uh, in, in 40 other countries that contributes to the CO2 emissions. So there are so many potential technologies that is in, in, needed and in the future there will be new technologies that I'm sure that our partners BI is working on and Mazdar is working on and hopefully we can jointly do much more not only waste to energy as a technology but could be other forms of technologies that will achieve our 
uh, ultimate objective of carbon reduction. I am sure the UAE's journey towards achieving a circular economy will motivate other countries across the region. Which brings me to my last question. Mr. Khalid, apart from this flagship project, are there any plans to take waste to energy innovations beyond the UAE? Uh, definitely. When this partnership was formed, the Emirates Waste to Energy Company uh, was not only for the UAE, was to uh, develop opportunities across the region. Our first project happens to be in Sharjah, but we are exploring other opportunities uh, globally and in, our, in the region, and also in the UAE, in other Emirates in the UAE. So this being the first flagship project uh, commissioned this year with the uh, inauguration, um, uh, we had the honor of having the ruler of Sharjah, His Highness Dr. Sultan uh, Al Qasimi, uh, and uh, now we are actually exploring other opportunities uh, across the region. Thank you, Mr. Khalid. That was truly insightful. Mr. Muhammad, can we hear some of your insights on this topic as well? Yes. So I, I, I think the potential within our region, and, and my dear friend uh, Khalid has highlighted this in, in terms of per capita, in terms of, uh, in terms of waste going to landfills, at least within our, our neighborhood here, within the GCC, and of course, the larger region, the Middle East and the Arab world, uh, it's, it's, it's extremely high. And in fact, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an environmental uh, serious uh, challenge that needs to be tackled. Uh, and we, as partners, when we started the journey here in Sharjah, uh, we have also realized that it is important that we help tackle this challenge, you know, help tackle this challenge, not only here in the United Arab Emirates, obviously, uh, tackle this challenge across our region. Uh, and I think it is very important uh, that we together uh, join hand in hand with other stakeholders uh, to help them achieve uh, and resolve this uh, main issue of, of, of landfill and, and waste. Uh, so yes, the answer is yes. Uh, we will, together with BIA, uh, inshallah, develop more waste to energy plants, inshallah, in our country, but also within our region. It would be great to see the UAE as a benchmark for other waste to energy projects across the region. Thank you, Mr. Khalid. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad. This was truly a very insightful and interesting discussion. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you both for taking the time to be with us here today and to applaud you for all the work that you have been collectively doing to build a sustainable future here in the UAE and across the world. I would also like to thank everyone who joined us in watching this discussion. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.